Hi, Kathy. We're Hi, live. Jeanette. We're we live. are live. On and a Sunday. A Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> we said that at the same time. We're so in sync with our we are, in, we are so in sync. It's unbelievable. I've, I've been online catching up with different odds and sods of different yeah. pockets that I'm involved in. And the theme across the whole day has been kindness. We are launching this adventure together today for a reason. Like we're so on top of it, girl. Oh, it, it, it is. I've been at a convention. I'm with Swaroptimist International. And the chapter that I'm with is Swaroptimist International, the Langleys, um, where I live. And it was our two-day convention. And throughout the whole, we had 107 women from Western Canada and like Washington, Portland, and California. And we were just, we were celebrating each other, coming together, the different clubs, giving out awards, um, also giving out a couple of awards to some young des or some deserving women that are going back to school. And it was, it was just like this, this little thread of kindness and that when we are out there in our volunteer hats and wanting something from somebody else, it's so important to, uh, to be kind and to have that, uh, that top of mind kindness. Yeah. So yeah, it just it just amazing, amazing. And then I went out for a walk and I said hello to the trees and the smells today. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful where we live. We're so blessed where we live. Uh, we we really are. I spent time out in the garden and planting and weeding, sitting in my hammock and just looking at the birds and the trees. <laughs> just oh. yeah, it's been a spectacular day. And um, yeah, it's it's kind of interesting how the universe keeps building this i'm calling it a blanket today you know, patchwork oh. blanket i know i'm getting crafty with my words there agentette and oh i can get i, I, can, I can get such a, a warm visual hug and by the way did you notice we we got like the little memo to kind of wear the same kind of colors today <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> yeah it kind of goes with the color of a brook too like it, it does <laughs> See, when you're keyed into kindness, what can happen in your world? Things just fall right into place. Well, it's all about, it's all, all about intention too. You know, yes. I started this whole 2021 wanting to be intentional every single day. And I have faltered now and then, but I have come so focused now in the last month and a half and every day is intentional. And it was so easy doing the first adventure, adventure number one um what does kindness mean to me and oh, it was, so it, uh, it the adventure starts with you so this yeah. book it starts with it starts with you yeah yeah. Okay. yeah so it was like it was so easy for me to do because i do this every day and it's like oh this is so cool so it was how do you make um it could mean um uh, making someone feel less alone or stopping and actually seeing someone like mm. truly seeing someone not just passing them by and then um he, he he offered an opportunity to draw or to write a poem and i'm terrible at both so i just wrote a journal because <laughs> i'm good at that and then he double dared us to post so i've already posted my adventure online and um to not keep it a secret um i think it is our duty to share what we do um, as acts of kindness. And mine is really, well, I do it every day with my neighbor across the street. Mm -hmm. I don't get anything out of it. Um, but the ones I put in my journal was putting a smile on someone's face today. And I have done that to four people today. And that's oh. pretty remarkable since I've been homebound all day. I haven't gone anywhere really. Um, and sharing a kind word to someone. I had a networking event yesterday and I just I just kindness all over her saying thanks for your time and thanks for your generosity and thank you for being you and you're such so sunshiny you filled my heart with joy and sunshine today and I even offered some plants to my neighbor I saved a fennel I don't know if you know this but fennel like grows everywhere oh <laughs> It I know I know it's delicious barbecue. That's what I know about fennel. Oh, uh, there you go. Well, I purchased, we purchased a fennel, um, oh my goodness, 15 years ago. 
and it keeps producing more and more and more every year. Like it's just, it won't go away. So I had one that was really substantiated and I offered it to my neighbors. You gave me one last year, but thanks anyway. But it just felt so good. Like it's like, it was a nice thing to do. It was like, so I said to Paul, just pull it out because we don't need any more because we've got fronds coming up everywhere. <laughs> but, you know, being intentional and sharing that heartfelt gesture absolutely like it just yeah. it just feels good i don't know i i like being me <laughs> that, that's that's incredible so the fennel was oh the fennel almost was prompting you to be kind just saying mother nature works with us going hey oh, i you have this gift how can you give it away well kathy is choosing to do the book um chronological and i'm choosing to do the book random because um, you're random. Life <laughs> yeah, my life is very random. I I have my own company, so I have lots of different types of customers. I have lots of different types of opportunities throughout the week, whether I stay at home, go to my office. Um, so this last week, I was at home. Like, I chose to stay at home and work from my home office. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm sure you guys have seen lots before. And I'm, I just kind of opened it up and kind of went, oh, I'm going to pick one. And mine was Adventure 3. Okay. And mine was kind of springboarded on yours about kindness compliments. Well, this is uh, the one where he, yeah, he says, take time. Uh, well, uh, let's see. You know, when you're walking down the street and you see a complete stranger, it stops and says, you know what? You look really happy right now. And you just made my day. Well, Kathy, it's, it's tough right now for me. Many people don't know. I live on five acres on a farm. I just got back from a walk. I sell this many people, um, you know, on my walk. So for me to be able to fulfill this three, I had to get a little creative, this little venture, a little, a, a little creativity. And so mine was, I may purposely and intentionally like you to look at people's social media posts very holistically of people uh -huh. I didn't know. Like yeah. people I didn't know, and I was kind of say if aimlessly scrolling on the big purple couch while I was, you know, watching a probably a documentary because I love documentaries right now. Um, and looking at the whole post and going, wow, who are they right now? That's pretty cool. And instead of just giving them a heart, is jumping into the comment boxes, like I like to say, and go, wow, do you realize that post of you, whatever it was? Yeah um whatever you're doing you're so creative thank you so much keep it up or i was at a networking event on wednesday and a longtime friend presented and making a point in front of people too because that was my opportunity to say ah oh, marion you nailed that presentation well prepared and you, you really brought it and so mine mine was you know making sure that you're going out and, and not being flippant with your comments. So it's not like when you walk up and mm -hmm. I go, hey, Kathy, that's a beautiful, oh, that top looks so beautiful on you. Well, no, let's go one step farther and say, hey, Kathy, you know, great choice choosing that, uh, that blue because it really brings out your eyes. So going that, that qualifier. So the person kind of goes, hmm, I made that great decision for myself. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to feel good and feel kind. So that's what um, mine is is going out and be, being kind, finding those, finding the opportunities. So yeah. wake up. And I, think you were being, I think you were being really creative going on Facebook too. And I did the same thing. I just, I was just going through my Facebook a little bit and I don't do it every day. I, I don't have that. I don't have that discipline, nor do I want that discipline. It's too much for me. Yeah. But um, I went on my other Facebook that I only use for work. And one of my good friends She's homeless right now. She posted, I'm homeless. I'm still homeless. I'm going, what's going on? So I've reached out to her as well in kindness because it's, and I, and I think because of our current situation where everything is virtual and we don't necessarily see a lot of people in person, that that's a human connection right there, even on Facebook and social media, wherever you, you choose to go. Um, it's just as important to share kindness on there. Don't just like folks, right? Like, yeah. don't just like, like make a comment. And I did it to you too. Check yes, I Facebook. saw that. I saw that. <laughs> and I, I often say that if you just give a thumbs up, especially if it's a, a friend of yours that has a business, we often think, well, I'm just going to give them a thumbs up and that helps. Well, my analogy I love to use for that one is pretend you've owned a restaurant 
And yeah. you came in and you said, oh, I like your restaurant. And you sit at the table, but you don't order anything. Yeah. yeah. And somebody walking by looks in and goes, oh, everybody's sitting at the table. Oh, that place must be really good, but they're really busy. But if you yeah. sat down at the table and you ordered, which is a nice little comment, a nice little kindness, nice little woo woo, then, then it's like, oh, you're, that's how you're giving a service. You're giving yeah. of yourself time currency to help that business, help that friend with a, a beautiful post out there um, oh, to show the kind. I love how you say that time currency. I love that. Yes. You have to write that down. Yeah. Currency yeah, of time. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, bravo, bravo. So yes. we're going to do another one of these next Sunday and we're going to do another adventure. Yes. I'm going to be chronological. I'm going to do number two. I haven't looked at it at all. Yep. guys if you want to follow along with us by the way we are not connected to leon we uh yep. uh we gave a shout out at uh, thankful thursday reflections about two thursdays ago going these books were gifted to us um i went and saw leon virtually at a ronald mcdonald charity for philadelphia book club they um they were reviewing his kindness diaries books and i'm like oh my gosh he's like my superhero he's like my kindness hero and so how I got a hold of these books is I went and I was able to meet them and there was only 11, Kathy, 11 of us on screen, 11 of awesome. us on screen. I thought there was going to be like hundreds and I'd be this oh, little teeny yeah. tiny little box in the corner. And yeah. I was like this big box beside him. And it was just amazing to, to talk to him. And I asked him um, the question of, do you have like a, a step or a mental checklist in your head on how you do kindness? I said, us, your kindness ambassadors out there that have to, we not have to, we want to educate through to kinetic, visual, auditory. Can you give us a little, you know, little tutorial or what, you, what do you do? And he says, his thing was, um, if I can see somebody's face changes to a smile, I know I'm done. So whatever yeah. I've said, whatever I've done, it's resulted in a smile. That's my checklist. I'm like, Ooh. Yeah. So yeah. fast forward, he says, oh, I wrote this book. I wrote this book um, last year. This book came out and he said to the lady moderating it, hey, can you get everybody's addresses? And I'd love to send them the book. Well, I thought it was getting one, but I got <laughs> two. And of course, Bless that you. prompted <laughs> me to give one to Miss Kathy. So um, it is uh, go be kind. So if you want to follow along or grab a copy, like I said, we're not getting anything out of this except putting kindness out in the world um, with his little roadmap here. And it's um, benbellabooks.com. Um, it's available on Amazon because he shipped it directly to me through um, through Amazon. So if you want to come along for the journey or come along your own journey, I posted earlier um, in the comments, you know, post your kindness, what you've done in the way of kindness. Well, come yeah. along on a journey with us. I love that blanket. Oh my gosh. I just like envision the world as, as the moon is going to sleep, having this this blanket and this little smiley face on the moon the man and the moon be, being very happy with us here on earth Kathy. <laughs> that's interesting that you put it that way too because and i totally get that i was leaning more towards the patchwork to make a blanket oh. um, like, a, like a quilt that we're creating i'm creating skills for myself and for others on building that quilt and patchwork into a nice big blanket so that we're all unified together that's where I was taking that. I love that. So when Kathy's done with her quilt, I'm going to pull it 100% up over top of the whole world as we pull this together. Well, my friend, this was something unique, something new for us, the gratitude and appreciation yeah. summit, just to kind of share what we're up to. Because, you know, during the week, we are doing things in the background to make sure we bring great content as well as fun stuff um for the gratitude yeah. and appreciation and, and it's and it's a journey called life oh, and yes. i'm loving it right now i tell you yeah absolutely yeah. okay my friend um enjoy the rest of your night with your family i'm off to a um i sponsored a women's um, challenge so i get to go see a bunch of women fulfilling their best sounds lives like fun. So sounds like fun so gonna go be kind Thanks there too Jeanette. Yeah. <laughs> you have a wonderful evening, my dear. You know what? We got to do it. Got to okay. do our signature. All right. Warm up the hands. One, two, three. Kindness to the world. Yeah. You have a bye wonderful bye. evening. Thanks for coming tonight, everybody. Bye. Bye. -bye.